This diminutive grinder right here is the Opus by Fellow. Now this is a sub $200 espresso capable grinder and that's a feat all on its own. However, Fellow did include some design elements here that are really neat, a few surprises as well, as well as a couple of minor annoyances and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. For everybody who doesn't know Fellow yet, they are a company based out of California and their aim is to really design the most intuitive, the most nice to use coffee equipment that they can. That's what I'm quite delighted about using this machine and we're just gonna talk about the build quality, the functionality, how it works, go over the pros and cons as we talk about it. So this grinder right here is a 41 step grinder. It's got a 40 millimeter burr inside. We can take a look at that here. All right, so to give you a close up of the burr inside, that is the inner burr and this is the outer collar right there. Just a little dirty, I've been using it. And it's also got this extra dial here in the beginning to extend the range. So you can go a bit on the finer range if you wanna get finer for espresso or you can get a bit coarser as well. Let's plop that back in there and let's put the top back on. Now Fellow has designed this grinder to have 41 settings and to have an all purpose burr inside to go from espresso on the one side all the way over to pour over or French press on the other. And in today's demo, we're gonna take a look at it for espresso performance, but I have also tried it for pour over and it works nicely for that as well. On the inside of the cover, they've got this scale inside which shows you about what grind setting you need for your particular brew method. I do think that's a nice inclusion and why not? Something else I think is really interesting with this grinder and it helps with retention is that's a tight fit on that grinder on this lid here. So you can use this, listen, you can use that to pump it at the end. And that does help to get the remaining half a gram or so out of there. So that's a nice feature. I wonder if that was intentional. I think it probably was. Something else that's interesting about the grinder is the catch cup is magnetic, which is delightful. I love everything that's magnetic. That's just really fun to use. Now the build quality, you have to keep in mind, this is a $200 grinder. So the build quality is all plastic. The column, plastic. The base, plastic. Uh, the hopper, plastic, obviously. But the burr is a yeah, stainless steel. And I do feel like they made a really nice burr design because when it comes to taste, I've been getting some mm, delightful shots, very low astringency, nice and balanced, smooth shots, and I'm quite surprised at that price range, what they're able to do. If you just look back five years or so, you have to spend a lot more money to get a result like that. Plus, this is a pretty fun machine to use. It, however, does come with a few shortcomings, in my opinion, as far as ergonomics go. So the one thing is you're kind of forced to single dose with this machine. Measure out your beans, uh, put them in there, press the button, and then it goes for, you know, 30 seconds for a single press, two short presses, 60 seconds, and so on. I do find that a little bit annoying. For me, it would be nice to not only be able to use this catch cup, but to be able to just take a porta filter and put it underneath there with a the scale. Now, if I could just put this scale in there, put the porta filter in there and measure it, that would be great. But this does kind of spray a bit. That's why this needs to be up so close to the exit chute. And therefore, I would need a funnel on top and when I put the scale in there in the funnel it just it doesn't fit it's too too tight of a fit so therefore you really are reduced to in my experience using this as a single dose catching it here in the catch cup each time and then dumping it out here into your porta filter it's totally all right if you're doing one or two shots but if you're doing multiple shots it would be nice if you also had the opportunity to just kind of grind on demand put a bunch of beans in here and weigh it while you're grinding the only way you really can do that that i found out so far is to take the basket out here and um, put it on top of here and grind but then 
If you do it that way, then you have to get the basket back inside your porter filter and that's kind of a pain in the butt. And what you'll notice here is actually, just from me having that underneath there, there is some retention. So you, re you really do have to make sure that you baffle it after each dose because it does have some retention, which brings me to another point, um, some mess also. This grinder, it's a fair amount messy. So when you're grinding, everything goes in there just fine. That's great. But when you pull it out, sometimes you'll accidentally knock it and then some will come out or it will just over time, just kind of just from knocking it one time or another, it will release some grounds onto the base. Not a big deal, but I do wonder if over time the base might get scratched up a little bit from the granules. I don't know. So anyway, cool grinder though, for sure. The results speak for themselves. I did some trials yesterday running it at 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, .2 and 2.3. It's got some decent resolution. I will include a short video comparing those shots. So with the resolution, I found that I can kind of get in between the clicks right around a five second difference in the shots with the Dedica and a 16 gram dose. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. Now something else that I wanted to mention, which is really cool on this machine, and it's one of the most delightful things, is that when it's grinding, it also includes an anti-static procedure. I think it uses something like a deionizer in order to take the static away from the beans. And therefore, the beans that you got here in the catch cup are static free, which means that the force of gravity is stronger than the force of the static cling. And therefore they just pour out really nice. It's a very clean process. And that's really what I like. For me, the two best features about this grinder are really the lack of static and the grind consistency. The grinds look really nice and consistent and based on the shots that I've had so far, they're delicious, really good. So for that price tag, that is awesome. I would be even more delighted, however, if they would have just made this a bit higher, they would have made the whole grinder higher so that you'd have more space here that you could place a scale and a porta filter with a funnel so that you could grind and weigh at the same time that would have been really cool. But for 200 bucks, it's nice, it's uh, small, diminutive, it fits under, I'm sure, anybody's counter. In fact, let me show you the Dedica in comparison. So, the Dedica, as you know, also very small machine, but it's a fair amount taller. The width is similar, and if we look at the depth, I mean, it's small. This is a small little grinder, which is kind of nice. Talking about it being small, there's something else to mention about it, it's very light. I think two and a half kilos or right around five pounds. So yeah, this is a really small, light grinder. One last thing I wanna mention is, yeah, it's nice when you carry it around. Um, with it being light, you can do that. Sometimes the catch cup falls out. You do have to be a little careful when you're carrying it around to not drop it. I've done that myself. But yeah, it's a pretty delightful grinder. I'm happy I bought it. I'm gonna keep it. At this point, I think, let's just make an espresso and see how it looks. So I've got this machine set up right now at 2.2, and we're gonna grind 16 grams of espresso and put it, put it in the Dedica. All right, so what I like to do is just put the catch cup on there and measure the beans right out into the catch cup. So I am using nice freshly roasted beans, by the way. That is important. All right, I got exactly 16 grams and we're gonna check the retention before 
doing the bellows and then we'll do it after the bellows and see. One other thing that I wanted to mention is this grinder is slow, super slow. It takes about 25 seconds for a 16 gram dose. So, so far it's the slowest grinder I've ever used. Here we go. Okay, now it's done. That was 30 seconds. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Oh, 14.3. Hmm. That means that we had about a gram and a half of retention, but if I bellows it out, it's going to be better. So here we go. Yeah, so there we go, 16.0. So keep that in mind, you can use this as a bellows, super nice included feature. Now let's put this into our portafilter and I feel like having an espresso anyway. As you can see there, it's uh, nice and empty, that catch cup, real empty. And uh, here you can see the, the grinds right there, the consistency, how good they are. They're really delightful. And I just love the fact that they come out static free. That's super duper nice. Bring the Dedica up. Let's just run an empty shot once. Okay. Now I do not know how the shot is going to turn out. It's kind of based on puck prep, of course, but I have gotten delightful shots uh, out of this machine. Now let's take a look and pull ourselves a shot. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty delightful. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's looking nice and creamy like honey. All right, stop it at two to one right there. Dedica go bye bye. All right, so there's my shot right there. That does look pretty delightful, if I do say so myself. And give it a little stir. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. As I mentioned, I'm using nice fresh beans. Really what I find with this grinder is it lacks astringen astringency. Got some sweetness to it. That one did run a little bit long at 39 seconds, but the shots that I get right around 30, mm, they are delightful. But that has to do with dialing it in. I should probably open it up a little bit so that it runs through quicker. But in general, this grinder has given me really delightful shots, low astringency nice balance to it. Even sometimes a little bit of the fruitiness comes out. So yeah, I'm quite delighted with the grinder. Would only be better if you had more space here, in my opinion. But I think for an espresso capable grinder that can also grind for other brew methods, that is a nice grinder and I can kind of see why there's so much hype behind this machine. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, give it a like, check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now. <laughs>